Welcome! In front of me is a brand new Samsung Galaxy Watch 7 and today I will go for unboxing and look at a quick look at the device itself and its specifications. It open. Uh, we do have pull tabs at the back so we don't need to get any kind of knife or anything to cut this to do. And Samsung almost got it figured out how to open, well, get these to not rip apart but uh, not quite they, there yet. Anyway, popping it open. I'll lower down the brightness a little bit, there we go. So, in here we get a charging cable, so it's a little magnetic puck. And then on the other side we just get paperwork. Yep, paperwork. And then obviously the watch itself right here. And it looks like it's everything. Okay, now let's put it up. It's going to be the bottom one. Or not. There we go. Um, so. The watch itself, at the uh, first glance, I just want to kind of point that out. It does actually look really premium, feels nice. Uh, the colors right here is this kind of grayish green uh, strap with the orange and blue, um, like almost string, basically looped around here. As you can see, this is just an aesthetic one. It doesn't really provide anything outside of just like some color flair to it. In terms of the uh, buckle right here, we have a typical uh, watch buckle that actually does something really nice, uh, which I personally like, as when you clip it on, you can move that under, and obviously this doesn't all, almost ever come loose. So yeah, it's very hard for it to you know, kind of come out of there. Uh, the reason I'm pointing that out is because the typical watch uh, will have something like this. And when you clip that, just gonna demonstrate this, there we go. You loop this through, obviously, right? No surprise here. And obviously this, uh, from like rubbing, just for me at least, this kind of watch always comes off at least one of those. And it gets very annoying just flopping around. So I really like the design that they have right here. And it's one that I have, they have been implementing uh, for a couple of watches, I think. Now, taking a look at the display itself, um, we are looking at a 1.5 inch display, apparently. And this is running a resolution of 480 by 480, putting it at a pixel density of, I can quickly find it, uh, 327 pixels per inch. Now this is also super AMOLED display, so we'll get this absolute insane dark, uh, or completely off uh, blacks, and that obviously increases your battery life, so that's really good. It is also covered by a sapphire crystal uh, on the front, so it should be very robust in terms of uh, resistant to scratches and uh, it supports also always on display as you would expect from a watch. Now if we move over to the internals, which obviously I'm not gonna be disassembling this, um, we have a 4,000, or 4,000, sorry, uh, 425 million power battery. Uh, we support, or this watch supports uh, 10 watts of charging. And obviously uh, the charger that comes provided is a very scummy one, I do want to point that out. So this is a type C uh, port. Uh, the reason I'm pointing that out, uh, and you might not actually see much of a problem in it uh, just yet, it's, it's the fact that most people, majority of us, if we have a charger that we could use this char uh, this specific charging puck with, is a Type A charging, not Type C. Uh, therefore, we are basically forced by Samsung to go out of our way and buy a shitty charger. And for the most part, people will most likely be picking up one from Samsung, because you would expect them to be good, but they're not. So you're spending more money on something that should have been provided with the device and it's designed to just kind of be annoying for no reason because there is no reason why this is a Type-C end uh, apart from just, you know, greed. They could have done it better, put a Type-A and obviously that would have been nice because we all most likely have a Type-A charger uh, lying, lying around and we wouldn't need to buy a separate one. And I'm pretty sure that Samsung is banking on the fact that most people that will be buying this uh, that don't have a Type-C charger will just pick one up from them. As, uh, because it does seem fairly logical. 
to do so. Um, so like I said, this is just a completely scammy move uh, that didn't need to exist at all, but you know, all in the name of profit. And uh, F you Samsung for doing so. Now, benefit of this though, I do want to also point out because that's a downside. For a typical user, that's a downside, uh, but you do have the ability to, for instance, grab a phone, right? Plug it in and then charge it off of your phone. Hopefully, or not. Oh, no, there we go. And as you can see, it's charging. So that is a benefit, though not sure how many people will be utilizing that uh, in, in this way to charge their uh, watch using their phone. As obviously you sacrifice uh, battery life on your phone to charge your watch. Uh, it's not much as it's only like 420 milliamps, so that's not super egregious. Uh, phones have like 5000 milliamp hour battery, so uh, you're only sacrificing a small percentage of your battery right there. Um, so that's a good point of this kind of charger. The bad one is if you just want to have it normally charge on, for instance, your nightstand and stuff like that, you most likely need to buy a separate charger for it. Uh, now, continuing on with uh, the internals, we have a 2GB of RAM in here uh, and 32GB of built-in storage, if I'm correct, yep, I am, I am. And we have Exynos W1000 processor that is powering this watch. So everything right here seems actually pretty good. The two gigabytes of RAM is enough for a smartwatches to basically make them run super smoothly. As you can obviously see right here, there is no lag whatsoever. Uh, as older smartwatches that have sometimes like one gigabyte of RAM or lower, obviously do kind of lag about when you're just scrolling. This is just battery smooth as you would expect from a more premium watch. And uh, moving into the other things like sensors, we have accelerometer, gyroscope, high rate monitor, barometer, uh, altimeter, compass, uh, blood oxygenation, temperature, skin, and uh, meaning temperature uh, calculates the skin. Uh, the reason I'm pointing specifically the skin is because uh, the ultra version of this watch actually does also water temperature if you wanted to. I assume you just drop it into water and it will tell you uh, the temperature of it. Uh, and we also have something that Samsung is calling uh, bioactive. I don't really know what that is. And in terms of colors for this watch that we have options with, uh, we have the uh, cream, silver, and green. Now the one that I have right here, just to actually check it out, I have the, if I can quickly find this, uh, somewhere. Uh, so this would be the green one. Uh, I did want to kind of confirm this as something sometimes just messes up their colors completely in terms of what they're naming them. Uh, so there we go, that's the Brand new watch from Samsung, uh, Galaxy Watch 7, and uh, yeah, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.